So this is going to be a fun one. We're going to do the phases of the moon. So to start, I'm going to teach you how to make a beautiful black that can take, make a beautiful gray. So I'm right now I'm just getting a whole bunch of the intense blue. That's your darker blue. Um, you've got aquamarine or ultramarine blue and then you've got intense blue. The intense blue is a dark is the darker blue that doesn't have as much green in it. And then you're going to mix it with your burnt umber, which is your dark brown. And you're going to make a nice black and you're going to want a lot of black for this project. So I have a nice reserve there. I'll have probably have to make some more as we go, but well that'll give us a good start. So the first thing I'm doing on the pattern here is I am just going in with some dirty water, <laughs> which is fine. Um, if we were going to be doing lighter colors, I would probably dump out that water and get some fresh water, but for this, that's perfect. So we're just filling in all of those moon circles with water, just a nice um, coat of water. Okay. Next is the fun part. So we're going to get some of that black. We're just going to put a few little dots just randomly on our moon. This one I'm just going to kind of fill in because I know that it's going to be all black at one point. And then I'm moving on, focusing on the parts that I know I won't be filling in with black. And what I'm doing here is I'm letting the black bloom. So I'm just putting it, so the wet on wet technique, I'm just barely touching it. Now I'm coming in with some of that intense blue and just kind of putting a few dots here and there. Doesn't matter where. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that bloom a little bit. And then I'm gonna come in with my brush and just kind of Move it around. Just kind of make it look like a moon. And just, I'm just focusing on the areas that I know are going to show. So I'm going to cover other areas with that black, as you can see in the um, example above. So I'm just kind of moving it around, just have fun. Doesn't have to be perfect at all. Okay. You can add a little more if you need to, a little more black if you need to. But really, you can just leave it alone, which is hard to do, but just leave it alone and just let it dry. Um, and if there's pockets of water forming, you can just kind of move those around a little bit as it dries. Okay, so we're going to just let that dry. I waited about probably five minutes before I went back to do this next step. So I would give it at least five minutes of drying time. Once you've given it about that much time, you can come back with your black. I'm going to make a little more black here. I'm adding a little more of that intense blue with a little bit of the burnt umber. And then I'm just coming in following my example above. I'm just coming in with black on each of those different phases. At this point, as you can see above, um, the phases are a little more gradual than the way that I'm painting right now, but I'll show you how to do that later. Right now you're just going to um, just fill in your lines that you made on your pattern.
And just use the tip of your brush for those little areas. A nice black new moon. Make a little bit more black again. And we're just moving on up. The nice thing about mixing your own black is that you can make it um, you can add more brown to make it more of a warm black or more blue to make it a cooler black. Um, and it works really well for gray. It's just a, a nice thing to know how to do. If you have this palette, it's a must because this palette doesn't come with black. Okay, so we've got those all blocked in. You can go back and just kind of do what I'm doing and just add um, on top of some of your black. And now, as you can see, I'm coming in with just water. And I'm just going on the edge of each one of my moons there, my shadows. And I'm just depositing some water and just letting that water um, help them to bloom and to just naturally um, make some pretty cool shapes. Doing another layer of black on my new moon and then just kind of moving things around a little bit. But really that's all there is to it. It's pretty fun and pretty easy. This is a one of those projects that looks really hard, but it's actually really easy. So we're going to wash off our brush. And now I'm choosing to go in with some a black Sharpie and just kind of, I'm going to just go to where those craters happened naturally and just kind of highlight those with my pen. You do not have to do this if you don't want to but I like to add those lines. So I'm just going to each one of those little craters and just adding to those. And then I'm just gonna quickly go through and outline each one of the moons. And once we're finished with that, I'm going to call it done. Hope you enjoyed this one. Go out and look at the moon tonight. Have a great day. Bye.